On the Sofa with Esther wishes to pay tribute to one of the late, great, classic, original musicians and artists of all time, the late, great Sonny Turner from the original Platters. I had the privilege of meeting Sonny about three years ago when I went to Vegas. He was always so inspiring, so upbeat, always looking forward to doing the next gig. And as we pay tribute to this incredible man, I've spoken to three people who knew him. And so we share their stories. Um, well, first of all, ladies and gentlemen, this is Sonny Turner from the Platters. From the, the real... The real Platters. Last, last of the real <laughs> Yeah. And this is Lamont McNamore from the Fifth Dimension. Now, gentlemen, I, I always like to ask, in a nutshell, a coconut shell, a peanut shell, maybe a crab shell, <laughs> who are you cashew. both? Okay, okay, you be a ca do cashews come in shells? Yes, yes cashew they, nuts, yeah. They do, okay, you could be a cashew nut, Sonny. You okay. know, who is Sonny Turner? <laughs> who is Sonny Turner? Mm. Sonny Turner is a young man from Cleveland, Ohio, whose dream came true, an aspiring performer, who reached further than his dream. His dream was bigger than he thought it would ever be. And, and uh, I am truly blessed mm -hmm. and uh, to have uh, lived almost two lifetimes, you know, for, with, a, with that opportunity. That's Sonny Turner is a very grateful young man. I wanted to take up boxing like my father, mm -hmm. who was a, a welterweight champion boxer. But instead I, I was guided in the right direction, took after my mother who was a gospel singer, a wonderful alto voice, mm. and uh, I followed her footsteps instead. And I'm glad of it because boxing is painful. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, ladies and gents, um, good day, good evening, good morning once again to you. And today I feel very privileged to be talking to another legend. Um, they call her the Seattle Music Royalty Bernadette Bascom, who was a very, very close friend of the late Sonny Turner. And it's just seems incredible to be saying the late Sonny Turner, Bernadette. He was uh, more than that. He was my boss. He and his wife were uh, my husband and our friend. We did a lot of things together. But most of all, he was my big brother. That's what he called himself, my brother. Mm. And uh, it's really uh, to say late because I just talked with Sonny on Sunday night for over an hour. Mm -hmm. We laughed and talked and he was um, actually telling me about a, a new gig. He was getting ready to go and talk to the owner of the venue about mm -hmm. performing there. So I know for sure he was Excited about life as always because absolutely that was excited about life. Yeah, and that was Sonny. You know, I remember the, I would I check in on him, and um, he was always like, "Yeah, well, young lady, I've got an appointment, or I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that." Um, and like I said in a previous um, interview that I did with someone who paid a tribute to him as well. The, he was on my show about two months ago and he showed up in this red, this really cute red thing, you know, with a red cap and red. And I thought, who is that young thing? You know, he was. <laughs> and get on the, up on the stage. And he, this thing used to be when I first met him, he would jump up and touch the tips of his toes to the palms of his hands and would come around and do a split. Wow. And we would just. I sang with Platters for three years. Sonny mm -hmm. took me on the road with him. And uh, we just stand back there. So he had all lead singers for background singers. So the harmonies, you had to be a killer to sing the Platters music anyway, because their harmonies are like this. They are mm -hmm. the tightest harmonies ever recorded. And so we, all of us were lead singers. And we'd stand back there and just watch and laugh and applaud with the audience. I mean, we had as much fun watching Sonny as being part of his group. It was mm -hmm. amazing. Mm -hmm. And, you know, Bernadette, what do you feel um, is the legacy 
that Sonny has left? I mean, that could be a really sort of wide and generic question. But for you personally, because you knew him on so many levels and for such a long um, time. So what is the legacy you feel he's left? Giving, helping young artists. Um, coming beside them and noticing their talent and being proud of their talent enough that he would take all of the clout, well, in Vegas, we call it juice, mm -hmm. <laughs> take all his juice and put it behind you to help you rise in the entertainment industry. I know there are uh, three of us uh, that this really applies to one of them's name is Earl Turner. Earl mm -hmm. Turner is just a firecracker of an entertainer. And uh, Sonny always uh, supported him. And a young man named Kushney Roberts, he, um, Kushney has, it's called Spectrum, and they travel the world and they do Motown with orchestras all over the country. Okay. Uh huh. And me. Um, when I met Sonny, uh, a mutual friend introduced us and, and he was on stage. I had gone to his show and he actually called me up on stage with him. And I was like, I had just come there. I didn't know nobody. Um, and he got me up there and while he was dancing with me, um, he whispered in my ear, he says, you're a killer. We're going to get you started in this town. Mm -hmm. And he did that. He made auditions for me at the Desert Inn, at the Bellagio, where well, Bellagio wasn't built yet, at, at the Desert Inn, um, mm -hmm. Stardust, you name it. Sonny would mm -hmm. not only call the um, PR director or the entertainment director and make the appointment, mm -hmm. he would come and sit and show his pride for you. So to, as, especially as far as my Vegas career is concerned, I I could never have done it without Sonny. Not like that. Mm. Not like and, that. And so his legacy. And for you personally, mm. um, Bernadette, I mean, it, it's going to be a process. Um, what is the one thing that you would miss about him? I mean, you talked about his sense of humor, you talked about his positivity, you talked about different aspects of him, but for you personally, what do you think you, what are you gonna miss about the late Sonny Turner? His sonniness. It's the whole, <laughs> it was just the whole personality of Sonny Turner, that big, beautiful smile, um, he, he was, he had swagger. Yes, he did. <laughs> oh, he would tell the audience he was a little piece of leather. <laughs> and he was well put together. And I would just, oh, this man. Oh, and just no. uh, had that um, sexy machismo that, how you doing, baby? Yes. And, you know, yeah. I remember he wore this perfume, this cologne called One Man Show. <laughs> and I remember me and the guy that introduced me to him, we were at a drugstore in Vegas and he was like on the road traveling. We hadn't seen him in months and we were smelling like <laughs> alone because we missed him. It was like, yeah. is that Sonny's uh, cologne? And he said, yeah. I said, come on, let's smell it. And we were like, oh, we miss him so much. But that's just to, to show you how love. Mm. Sonny was and how much he's and sort of in winding down Bernadette is there anything else that you would like to say on behalf of the late Sonny Turner trust God be proud of the fact that you do hold on to something even if it isn't God hold on to something don't just be out here flying loose in the wind and buffeted from one place to the other. I know that when Sonny left, Sonny left at peace. Yeah. And I wish that for everyone, myself included, for you, that we won't just be buffeted by nothing. 
that there'll be something that we'll be able to hold on to and get us to the next level. Brilliant. Thank you. And while before we go, just that picture, you showed me a picture beforehand um, with yourself and Sonny. I bought it out today and put it on my computer so I could look at it all day. Bring it forward a bit more. Up, raise it up, up a little bit. There we go. So that's that little young girl. There she goes. There she goes. Oh, look at that baby. <laughs> Thank she called you. Me the platter. She called me the dish. <laughs> So thank cute. you. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you very much for your time. Bless you. Thank you. Esther. Thank you. Bye bye, everybody. Williams was replaced in 1960 as lead singer of the Platters by one of the greatest entertainers I know. Please welcome Sonny Turner. Ladies and gentlemen, today I have John Wilson from the legendary group Sly, Slick and Wicked um, with me today. And we'll talk, we'll interview John another time, but today is really to pay homage um, to the late Sonny Turner who passed away this week. Um, and John knew Sonny very well. And so I just thought it would be fitting to have someone like John on because John is a legend in his own right and he has this incredible, I would say, bouquet of artists that he knows incredibly well or he knows of. So he's my go-to person if I need to sound out anyone. So John, thank you so much for your time. Oh, you're quite welcome. You're quite welcome. Mm. So yeah. the late legendary Sonny Turner, um, an incredible man. How did you know Sonny, John? Well, first of all, we were, were uh, both from Cleveland, Ohio, mm -hmm. and uh, I had heard of him uh, way back when I just started singing when I was like 12. He was uh, uh, singing around town and, you know, and they were talking about this great, great voice. And of course, of course, I was much younger. And uh, the next thing I know that he was with the Platters. Mm -hmm. So... So I'm always, you know, rooting on, uh, uh, you know, a homeboy, right? <laughs> and, and, and as, uh, you know, with his two songs, uh, With This Ring and A Thousand Times, which were monster hits. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, he was just a, a wonderful person. And, you know, and that's why when I put on the post on Facebook, he was with the real original trap platters, you know, with Herb mm -hmm. Reed. I'm sorry. Yeah, with Herb Reed and everything. So that's why I don't wanted to let everybody know that he was probably the last link to the real platters because hmm. everybody else is in, in heaven now. And, um, you know, uh, it's just, he was a great guy. And it actually, the last time I saw him was on your show when, you know, when he had, it was interviewing him and I hit go Browns and, you know, and, yes, I remember you popping <laughs> up and say, hi, Sonny, it's John. Yeah. And that right. was about, I think that was about two months ago. Um, when he was on and you know I had the privilege I used to call him on occasion to check in with him to say hi and he was he would always sort of gush about what he was doing what he was going to do and he did allude to you know going to hospital for treatment but he was just so upbeat all the time and yeah well I'm looking forward to getting back out there again and you know he lost his wife 
believe two years ago as well. But you know, he was still championing, and I liked it when he came on my show. He was all in red with his red baseball cap. He just looked like a, you know, he just looked like a little um a teenager in his getup because he always had that um positive um attitude, that go getting attitude. Um and John, for you, what what, what is it that made Sonny special? I mean, we're all special in our own way, but for Sonny Turner. Well, his, you know, his wit, uh, how we actually met was uh, my friend, uh, Joe Vincent, who was with uh, Gene Vincent and the Blue Caps, uh, Bebop Alula. Uh, he had passed away and uh, went to the repass out here in Victorville. And, uh, of course, it was a star-studded, uh, you know, if I may use that word, repass. Mm -hmm. And I walk in and I see him sitting. We were in the backyard sitting at one of the chairs. I said, oh, Sonny, okay. And uh, he was sitting with, at the time, Miss Treadwell, who was George Treadwell's wife, who was the founder of the, the Drifters, mm -hmm. right? And so I said, Sonny, and he's and he, because I always, you know, had my hat. I didn't have it on in the service, but he said, oh, man. He said, let's go over here and sit down and talk. And we just talked about Cleveland and you know the good times on the road you know and some of the bad times we, we we shared war stories so he always you know had a smile on his face and and everything so that's what uh I had planned to go over to into Las Vegas and see him but you know didn't make it sorry apologies go ahead no no no, no he was just a great person I'm sorry yeah, he was. And, you know, for people who knew him, who knew of his songs, you know, he serenaded so many of us um, and he serenaded it from the heart. And I was talking to Bernadette Bascom earlier because um, she's another close friend of his and she was reminiscing about his dancing because he loved the song, he loved to dance, you know, and he, even, even, you know, up until last year, I saw a video of him doing his two step and he still had that fire in his soul. Um, and so what do you feel, you know, um, his fans are gonna miss about him? I mean, that's a very sort of generic and large question, but for someone who's been in the industry for a long time yourself and, you know, knowing the industry history, what do you feel fans are going to miss about Sonny Turner from the Platters? Well, there's a, a bunch of things. First of all, he's one of the the last of that uh, era. There's not mm. too many left, you know, and so his voice, he had that unique voice, you know, I thought, you know, that maybe they would uh, go back to a Tony Williams, you know, who sang uh, the original, you know, the lead with them in you know, the mm. Harbor Lights, but I guess Herb was looking for a different type of punch and, you know, mm -hmm. he could bring it, he could bring a ballad, he could bring, you know, any way you want it, he would bring it, you know? Mm -hmm. And so I think that he is going to be a tremendous hole left uh, because again, it, he was one of the, the breed that sang straight from the heart. No, no auto tune, no nothing. It was just there mm -hmm. you heard on the record. You saw live, you know, and that's what it will be missed uh, about him. Um, again, a and a unique voice. Mm. You know, when you heard when you heard his voice, you knew that was you know uh, Sonny. You knew that was Sonny. I don't care if he was across the street or over in England. You know, mm. if I heard somebody sing, now oh, that's Sonny. You that's know? Sonny. Yeah. Right. right, exactly, exactly. Yeah. And the nice and the nice thing about this, John, is that um, you know he's still able to put a smile on our faces even even now because of his essence, because of his character, and that's something that for me personally we can all strive to become. You know, what is the legacy that we're leaving, not just in our industry and in our professions, but in the lives of others. So, and you know, in, in closing, John, what else can you share about Sonny? I mean, share a moment that you had with Sonny that um, really stuck in your mind. Well, again, um, I, it's, it's kind of really uh, strange to say, but when I was at the repass, you know, and we went off by ourselves and we just started talking about every time, everything, and it was like, you know, there wasn't no autograph hounds and nothing like that because everybody there was in the industry. So it gave us a chance to really sit down and just talk. And uh, again, we talked about everything from the Cleveland Browns to music and, 
you know, who we both work with, because I let him know I, I, I'm never ashamed to say I'm standing on your shoulders, you know, uh, you know, you and the platters and, you know, uh, Frank Mate, who with Danny and the juniors, he's the last one left. And I remind him of that all the time. You know, I'm standing on you guys' shoulders, you know, and so I'm, I'm very proud of that. And I, uh, and again, he was he would always he's just laugh and put his arm around me. But again, but I was very serious about that. Um, Again, he, he was he's one of the last last ones. There's not that many left. Yeah. You know, which is sad. So that was the moment that I, I think that I enjoyed with him the most. Brilliant. Well, John, thank you so much for your time. I know this was a sort of last minute. John, are you available? But you know, I just I felt it was important because I am gonna do a you know, I'm doing a tribute today for in honor of Sonny. And um and I know there's many others that have passed as well. And so it's it's incredible times. But um, thank you for your time. And I will be speaking to you shortly in the capacity as John Sly Wilson from Sly Slick and Wicked. Thank you, John. Thank you, Esther. Take care. Bye. Okay, well, ladies and gentlemen, with me today, I have another artist, another incredible artist, another incredible human being, but also someone who knew Sonny Turner really well. Sonny introduced me to Bobby when I went to Vegas. I think it was three years ago. I lose time sometimes, and I had the privilege of interviewing Bobby. Um, so, Bobby, as you know, we, we're now saying the late Sonny Turner, which feels quite um, surreal. Um, how has the news impacted you about the, the the passing of Sonny Turner? Well, I've, I've been uh, preparing for this um, over the last couple of months because I know uh, I've been, you know, I'm very close to Sonny. I know his, his uh, challenges uh, with uh, what he's been dealing with. And um, I, I could say that Sonny, uh, Sonny was happy. Uh, he was yeah. ready to go. He was ready to see his wife again. Um, he was content with his life. Uh, yeah. He felt that he traveled the world, sung to the world. You know, Sonny sang in three different languages. Uh, and Sonny felt that he had been truly blessed. Uh, I got to see Sonny uh, Tuesday of this week because uh, I had to, to drive uh out of town because I had a, some gigs coming up. So uh, my wife and I went and prayed with Sonny and then Sonny prayed and, mm -hmm. and he thanked God for a wonderful life, for wonderful friends and family, for his kids, grandkids and great grandkids, that he was not sad, but he was blessed. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and he looked forward to this transition. So even though I know it's very shocking and sad for a lot of people, uh, I want every, the world to know Sonny was ready to go. Sonny was happy and Sonny yeah. felt uh, he really had a great life. And he blessed me with, uh, he blessed me with wisdom. He blessed me with direction. He blessed me with decisions. And um, I love him. He's, he's like a father I never had. And of course, he's going, he's up there now with, with my dad and, and the rest of the stars that he played with. And I'm sure there's a killer rock and roll heaven going on right now. <laughs> I'm sure they're having good times, discussing good oh, the times here on earth. And and I I feel like I got another guardian angel watching over me. Oh, wow, you coined that so well. You really wrapped him up so well. And you know, for his fans, Bobby, what do you think, um, 
his fans are going to miss about him because he was this larger than life person. And as I've said in the previous two um, tributes who I interviewed beforehand, um, you know, Sonny, I would call him on occasion to check up on him and he would, even though he was going through treatment or whatever, he would always be so upbeat and he was ready to do his next gig. He was still, you know, ready to take on whatever life threw at him. Um, so what do you feel fans would miss most about him? I know that's a really large and generic question, but I'm going to ask it anyway. What do you feel his fans are going to well, miss about him? I, I, well, you know, if you got, got to be in his presence, you know Sonny was larger than life, and Sonny Ooh. enjoyed every moment of his life. And Sonny didn't let people know he was suffering, you know. Um, that's something he just didn't believe in, you know. So, uh, you know, how sometimes you can you can say, hey, how you doing it? And they go, oh, my leg hurt, my teeth hurt, my teeth hurt, my ball cap, my back hurt. And you, and you go, good God, why did I ask them, you know? Sonny, Sonny was the, the opposite, you know? Sonny, how are you doing? Sonny could have been in pain and you wouldn't have known it. Yeah. Sonny could have been hurting from a chemo trick treatment. You wouldn't have known it because Sonny would, hey, how you doing? God is good. Yeah. And he'd be all around you. And he would start singing. I, I got a clip uh, of a couple of years ago when Chubby Checker went to uh, – South Point here in Las Vegas, and I went to visit. Sonny and I went together, and and Sonny, I mean him. They it was like when they got together, it was like a good time. They, and they were they was remembering Jackie and uh, singing his songs together, and egging me to sing. And I'm like, no, nah, man, I'm not singing around you guys. <laughs> you know, you guys are the legends. And, and they would laugh because they thought, you know, uh, they they were so encouraging with me to keep the music going, to keep. Jackie w Wilson's uh, image and legacy alive. So uh, it was, it was crazy, you know. Uh, and even at that show, Sonny had treatment that day uh, that we went a couple years ago to see. Most people who have treatment, they they go home and they just go war with me. Sonny never mm -hmm. did that. Sonny thank Sonny thank God for every day that he had. And so uh, when we prayed that last prayer with Sonny, I knew in my heart and in my spirit that I, I was losing a friend on earth, but they were gaining a friend in heaven. And I was content. So when the news came 24 hours later that he passed, I actually was happy for him because I knew he was with his daughter and his children and his grandchildren and his great-grandchildren. He was right where he wanted to be. And mm -hmm. I'm so sorry that the world feels like he's a loss, but you know, we all got to face, face this road. We all know that we know we we only promise a few years here on this planet, so we got to make the best of it. We got to love one another. We got to treat each other right. We got to uh, learn to forgive and 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 keep moving on and let God handle what we can't handle. Mm -hmm. And that's where I'm at. And and Sonny was like that. You know, Sonny had to go through his sickness. He let God handle it, and he put it on God. He put his pain on God. He put his suffering on God. And he put the best foot forward. I'd never seen anybody like him. Two weeks ago, he called me, says, hey, I feel like hot dogs. And I said, I know the best hot dog joint. You know? <laughs> and I ran down the street, picked up four hot dogs, went over to his house, and we, wa yeah, and we watched the football games. You know, and, and, and Sonny is just as alive then as he ever was. And, he, you know, we were talking, you know, cussing at the screen because football players were making the wrong plays or the wrong this or the wrong that. Not like we could have got out there and done any better. <laughs> but it was fun, you know. It was fun, and, and you know, yeah. uh, I treasure. I've treasured my time with him. I am not sad because I know what he went through, mm -hmm. uh, and I've been to this death door so many times with family members, and yeah, and I'm learning. You know, uh, I'm learning. You know, yeah. our time is coming, so prepare. Yeah, and Sonny uh, gave me a good example. He, he really gave a good example of getting ready to transition over. He didn't want no crying. He didn't want anybody burying him. As he said, don't bury me. I'm here, you know. So uh, Sonny was, um, he was full of life. And that's how I see him. I see him full of life. I don't, uh, yeah, he's not here anymore. His spirit is here. And his music is here. His music is going to be here a long, long time. So. If you got Sonny music, if you got the Platters music, celebrate Sonny by listening to that music. Uh, celebrate Sonny by listening to his songs. Celebrate his memory by keeping his music alive. Fantastic. That's, that's where I'm at with 
Fantastic. Thank you so much for your time. Um, I know that you're out and about at this moment of time, but you know, thank you for your time and thank you for your tribute, Bobby. Ladies and gentlemen, Bobby Wilson. I see to be what I'm not, you see, I'm wearing my heart like a frog, pretending that you're still around. Fantastic. I'm um, sorry, I know, Bobby, I've thrown you in the deep end, so, you know, when you're ready to go off, just say I've got a couple. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, Sonny, um, yeah. you know, I've had the privilege of interviewing Sonny Turner on many occasions, and I met you about three years ago in Vegas as yeah. well. Um, so if I may ask you, Sonny, in a nutshell, in a peanut shell or a crab shell, who is Sonny Turner from the original Platters? Well, I, I, I'm a group that started out like young, most groups of people do, most singers, fortunately, the blessings of the Lord. I, I, I didn't know that I was a, a type of lead singer until I started out in Cleveland with a group called the Metrotones many, um, many years ago, a young group, a little young doo-wop singing group from the neighborhood who kept growing and performing and we were copying the entertainment of the great stars of, of yesterday, like the Dominoes, the Drifters, Jack oh, and all the great singers, you know. And um, what we did was we, we, we put our group together and sang their song, and, and then we also made, wrote some songs ourselves. But it was rhythm and blues. It was uh, 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 what we call uh, modern day Castro singing of the four freshmen. Uh, we can sing every type of music there was and learn it by singing and sticking together and practicing. And we learned that from teachers in school who said mm. that you guys have something to offer. And they encouraged us. So we kept on and we developed all kinds of music and languages. We okay. We learned a little Italiano. <laughs> we spoke to Parlez-vous Francais. Parlez-vous Francais. Yes, and uh, we also uh, Italian, you know. Well, but uh, any patois, um, Sonny? Any patois? <laughs> any, <laughs> any, any patois? Jamaican <laughs> patois? Belgian patois? <laughs> and we we also learned some 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 of the he, he uh, the, 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 the Hebrew, you know. And uh, we also we also learned some of the good African music, you know. Yes, so uh, it was it's a wonderful. A uh, blessing to be able to perform all types of music for everyone, mm. and, and that's a wonderful accomplishment. If you're allowed to be that versatile, and then that means that your life has has been fulfilled. And, uh, Absolutely, because, like I said, music is a really a gift uh, from God, and uh, what a wonderful uh, page for mankind to enjoy and relax. Mm. Music can make you feel good and, and tells a message of love and uh, the, all the nice things you need to help satisfy you and to gratify you. You know, so mm -hmm. that's the way it is. So that's, that's the